The sea has witnessed unbelievable disasters, from colossal blunders to nature's fury. Whether mechanical failures, miscalculations, or sheer bad luck, brace yourself, because in this video, we're diving into the most jaw-dropping moments at sea. The tradition of launching ships is meant to bring good luck, but not every launch goes as planned. Take this ship launch, for example. A towering crane was expected to handle the immense weight of the vessel, but it faltered under pressure. The crowd held their breath as the crane nearly plunged into the sea. Fortunately, disaster was narrowly avoided. Engineers must ensure that cranes used for ship launches are rated for significantly more than the ship's weight, and pre-launch stress tests should be conducted. Not all ships are as lucky. This vessel capsized right on the beach, a terrifying sight for onlookers. Imagine witnessing this moment, knowing the catastrophic damage it could cause. If this moment sent shivers down your spine, comment one below. Proper weight distribution and ballast control during launches can prevent capsizing. Shipyards must also ensure stable launch ramps precise water entry angle calculations, and that emergency response teams are ready in case things go wrong. In another instance, the USS Cleveland, part of the Freedom-class littoral combat ships, made a dramatic entry into the water during her side launch. Unfortunately, her launch wasn't without incident. As she made her way into the sea, the ship's back deck collided with a tugboat, pushing it across the channel. The force of the ship's descent washed the tug's back deck and wheelhouse with waves, causing significant disruption. This isn't the first time we've seen unexpected interactions between ships during launches. Still, it highlights the importance of precise communication and coordination between all vessels in the area. While some launches are disasters, others are engineering marvels. Take the Arctic Swan, a factory trawler launched with precision and care. With its powerful engine, capable of handling extreme conditions, the Arctic Swan stands as a testament to the cutting-edge technology in shipbuilding. She boasts a freezing hold capacity of 2,200 cubic meters designed to withstand the harsh conditions of the Arctic Ocean. Designed by Norway-based Arctic Swan as and built by Kongsberg Maritime Ship Design, this vessel is built to endure the worst of nature's challenges. From freezing temperatures to treacherous seas, 
the Arctic Swan showcases the advancements in maritime engineering, ensuring that such a large and complex ship can be launched with minimal risk. The world's first commercial sailing Roro ship, named Neoliner Origin, is also an example of a successful launch. The 136-meter-long Neoliner Origin will offer 1,200 lane meters of RORO capacity, or 265 TEU, for a maximum weight of 5,300 tons of goods. Promising fuel reductions of up to 80%, Neoline Origin will use the same characteristics as the Orient Express Silencia's cruise yachts. In the case of the Neoliner, the solid sails will be mounted on two 76-meter high folding carbon masts with a sea area of 3,000 square meters. The vessel will also have an auxiliary engine, MGO-fueled gen sets, and three transverse thrusters for port maneuvers and, when needed, to maintain on-time service. Bridges are designed to withstand enormous pressure. But nature or human error sometimes proves too much. Take this accident involving a cargo ship, 135 meters long and 18 meters high, which collided with a bridge at Batsueg in Ryland. The ship's wheelhouse couldn't be lowered due to a technical malfunction, causing it to strike the bridge unexpectedly. Miraculously, no one was injured, but the ship sustained severe damage. This mishap serves as a reminder of the importance of having backup systems in place for critical ship functions, like lowering the wheelhouse, which could have prevented this incident. Another catastrophic collapse occurred at the Baltimore Key Bridge. A massive container ship, losing power unexpectedly, collided with the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore. The impact caused significant damage to the bridge, which in turn collapsed. Regular inspections of critical systems like power generation and steering, as well as height and clearance sensors on ships, can prevent accidents like these.
In another mishap, the barge carrier Yu Zhu Qi Han, transporting new cranes, struck an onshore crane left near the dock. This small mistake led to a much bigger disaster, as the onshore crane was toppled and five containers were knocked over in the process. The YM Witness, a colossal 145,000 TEU container ship, found itself in a similar predicament. Arriving at the port, it could not stop during its maneuver, colliding with onshore gantry cranes. Several containers from the ship were also dislodged, falling into the harbor below. One of the most shocking accidents occurred with the AMNAH, a Comoros-flagged vessel, which capsized while loading containers at Ambarli Marport Port in Istanbul. This 5,200 DWT vessel tilted dangerously to one side and eventually rolled over, its crew seen scrambling for safety on deck. In Venice, a cruise ship lost control while docking, crashing into a wharf and striking a tourist boat. The MSC Opera created panic as it scraped along the dockside, scattering tourists in all directions. The force of impact caused massive damage to the infrastructure, creating chaos and endangering lives. Advanced navigation systems, improved port approach planning, and emergency braking protocols are essential to prevent such collisions. Ports and cruise ships must work hand in hand to ensure the safety of both passengers and pedestrians. When two powerful yachts collide, the results are catastrophic. These luxury vessels, designed for speed and power, can cause severe damage to each other, shattering hulls and creating a dangerous debris field. Strict maritime traffic regulations, speed limits in congested areas, and improved communication between vessels could help prevent these costly accidents. The MSC Baltic III lost power and ran aground in Cedar Cove. The Canadian Coast Guard responded to a May Day call, but due to poor weather and sea conditions, the ship could not secure an anchor, which ultimately...
The ocean is unpredictable, and even the most powerful ships are at its mercy. Whether caused by human error, technical malfunctions, or the unforgiving forces of nature, these disasters are constant reminders of the fragility of even the most advanced engineering. No matter how advanced, every vessel can fall victim to the vast and unpredictable sea. If you enjoyed this deep dive into maritime disasters and engineering triumphs, hit the like button and subscribe for more shocking stories from the sea. Until next time, stay safe and keep exploring. Always respect the power of the ocean.